guys, Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm going to do a current favorites video for mommy and kids, although I don't have too many things for the kids, just a couple of things. I haven't done a favorites video since, I think March, I think before we went to Disney World because just so much is going on before spring break and even after with planning Vegas Mommy Meetup and then we went to Vegas. So since March until now, beginning of June and with the end of the school year, it's just been a whirlwind. Like it's just been one thing after the other and I'm really sad because I've never missed a favorites video ever. And even if I've been late, like I would upload it like the month later and I'm kind of sad because I've really fallen behind with it. I don't even know if anybody has missed it because nobody's really asked me about it. So I hope you guys continue to watch my monthly favorites. I'm really going to try my best to continue with it here on out and sharing things that I'm loving for myself and the kids. So please let me know if you want me to continue these videos um, because I'll only do it if I know you guys want to watch it. So. Um, just off the top of my head, I just tried to grab a bunch of things that I know that I've been loving since March or since April that are like my go-tos and they're new and hopefully I didn't mention it in March or before that. So I'm going to get started. I actually just filmed a haul on this, but I have to mention uh, my MacBook Pro. I got the 13-inch with Retina display. And I just love the case that I got. I just did a haul on this. I think that might go live first. Um, I love the case. I love the color. And I love the um, this uh, cover, this ombre cover that I got. And it still shows the Apple sign when it's open, but it doesn't when it's closed. So I'm obsessed and I'm so happy now to use iMovie and all that fun stuff. So yeah, so check out that haul if you want links. I might link it here too, like if you want links to the cover and the ombre uh, keypad um, protector. So in addition to that, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I'm obsessed with my Erin Condren um, phone case. This actually matches my planner, which is downstairs, um, but it says here, Mommy Tips by Cole. And since getting this, I haven't changed cases. Not that I change cases often, but I'm... I'm really content with this because it's personalized and you know I like that the sides have this kind of grip so when I use my phone I don't feel like it's gonna slip out of my hands so that I really love as well moving on to some fashion items I don't believe I mentioned this but if not you probably see me wearing this all the time this is my Stellan dot necklace um, it has um, the kids initials EMD um, from Stella and Dot. And I actually sell the jewelry. I have a link. If you guys are ever interested or have questions, I'll let me know. But of all the jewelry that I have from them, I'm wearing this all the time because it's the kids' initials. So I am obsessed with my Stella and Dot necklace. Also said Stella and Dot, I got these studs, and I love that they're green, this bright green. So no matter what I'm wearing, I feel like I keep grabbing this stud. Um, even though it's green, it doesn't go with my purple lipstick, but I mean, my hair is usually in front of it, but I don't know, I just love the pop of color. Sticking with fashion items, I am obsessed with these dirty um, Target shoes. I got these on clearance for like under 10 bucks. I hauled them previously in a video, and I know there's like Steve Madden ones, um, like that have the leopard, I think it's a Cole Hunt. I know there's like a high-end brand that I don't even know because I can't afford it, but this one I love. I actually got in half size bigger. I got in an 8 because they did fit a little too exact and I wanted some room because wearing it without socks and if it's hot, you know, I don't want it to like give me blisters. And I did have to break it in a little bit, but once I broke it in, it's like totally comfortable. Although now I feel like it's too humid to wear closed toe shoes with no socks. I'm like, that just bothers me. Um, also, I hauled this and I wore this to IMAX and multiple times is this jacket from H&M and I'll probably insert a picture but it's just this like flowy it's kind of silky but it's not silk and you can you know tighten the drawstring you can zipper it or you can leave it open and it's just like a nice lightweight jacket that goes with everything 
I love the olive for spring. Even for summer, I could still wear this on summer nights. You can roll down the sleeve, you can fold it up. I love that there's a hood, and it was only $39.95 on, um, at H&M, and it was like the best, it's like my favorite jacket right now. Um, another thing that's like fashion related, but more so for Dylan, I got this at Target in a dollar spot, and my voice is cracking. We're three bucks, and he's obsessed with Star Wars, and this is Stormtrooper, obviously. And he's always wearing this hat, and it was so cheap. And I actually saw some other hats there, but by the time I went back, they were gone. And for three dollars, I mean, if he were to lose this, not a big deal. We thought he lost it a few times, but then we found it again. Or we left it at Minette's house, and then we got it, and we thought we lost it a few other times. Another thing for the kids, they had really horrible, horrible allergies at the start of spring. And the last humidifier had, I had to get rid of because I kept having to replace the filter and it was just gross and it worked well in the beginning when I had it after having Evelyn but like after a few years I started to think maybe this is kind of obsolete now maybe I should get a new humidifier and this totally helps I know I've seen this like you know when people have new babies and stuff but I got this for my kids or for all of us because um, we co-sleep and you guys probably know that already and so this helps all of us in the room um, you don't have to put a new filter you just have to clean it every day and disinfect it once a week and fill it up with water and you know it has the settings there and you just plug it in and put it like somewhere I actually put it on a stool in the middle of the room or my husband's idea and this was about $35 I think at Target and it's just cute I mean my kids could really care less about you know you know the specifics of what it looks like but I thought it was cute and yeah so that's why I got that speaking of that it totally helps because they would get um, really bad nosebleeds and I noticed um, once we started using that regularly they wouldn't wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning with a nosebleed like sometimes it would be really bad so it's helped like keep um, their nose moist and I hope the lighting is okay I'm not using my lights today I wanted to film outside but it's so humid and muggy I decided to film again in my room but with the the curtains pulled so I hope it's not bad lighting also related to the kids and being sick or having allergies we went to Vegas and when we went to um, <clears throat> Florida I brought this and I showed it in our um, packing video for each of those uh, trips but so many people have asked me about this even in recent years when I've always shared like how we pack and um, this is actually a toiletries bag that my mother-in-law gave me years ago and I decided <clears throat> a few years back to use this as a medicine bag although there's not really much stuff that's left over in here from our trip but our thermometers and there's some vitamins eye drops saline spray um, my Shakeology and like an ice pack a dry ice pack yeah and um, a pill box but I use this to house our vitamins house any allergy medicine or um, any types of medicine antihistamine um, I'm a tap you know anything that they could possibly use with any type of symptoms they could get because you never know um, what will happen when you're on the road or you're on a plane or you're on vacation and sadly enough we were okay in Disney World <clears throat> but when we went to um, Vegas, Emily had a fever on the plane and then the other two got it and then I got sick and my husband got sick so you know this totally came in handy and I actually put it in our carry-on and you know every all the medications fell within the guidelines of carrying it on the plane because I wanted you never know what you're gonna need and what are you gonna do if you're on like a five um, six five plus hour flight and you know a child one of your children spikes a fever and you don't have anything on you you know you need to have these things you know in emergency um, scenarios so that was really helpful and then I'm gonna grab my big bucket here <laughs> of items that are mostly skin and beauty related <clears throat> but before I talk about that I wanted to share another thing for the kids that I'm loving this is actually our second bottle of the tear-free gentle hyperallergenic formula Disney's frozen frosted berry scented bubble bath what is the brand this is a Disney brand but I don't know if it's like another specific brand but I've used this already this is my like I said my second bottle and it goes a long way and the kids love it 
and it's frozen and it smells good and they like it so I thought that was worth a mention of anything that I buy more than once um, it's definitely worth a mention in a favorites video also um, let's talk about skincare so I don't think I've ever mentioned this before but I am obsessed with the benefit line of skincare and I'm not going to talk too much about it maybe I'll do an updated skincare routine if you guys want um, but I actually won the entire like benefit collection of makeup and skincare on through Birchbox all the ones that's on their website and I've been using the uh, the facial polish the facial wash I use daily like night and day the facial polish I actually use this because it has exfoliating beads in it I actually it's a facial exfoliator I use this in the shower um, maybe every other day and then as a like toner this is their toner toning lotion moisture prep um, I use this and it goes a long way and then occasionally I will use this facial rehydrating mist like if I just want to spritz my face to be hydrated or feel like it's dry or sometimes I like to spritz on my face even after I clean my face it just because it just feels good and let me tell you everything smells amazing and they all have the same scent if I'm not mistaken um, and also the moisturizers so for nighttime I use the total mo total total moisture facial cream and look how huge it goes a long way so I'll use this at nighttime and when I use that I will use their um, it's potent eyes eye cream dab it underneath my eyes but more than anything I'm using their triple performing um, moisture facial emulsion which has SPF 15 and it's oil free I use this on a daily and I love it that it's a pump so this one I use actually you know a lot a lot a lot so that is my current favorite um, my current favorite skincare routine uh, prior to that I was using Tulip but which I still love I did a video on that and I still love that and I still plan to go back to that but I think sometimes it's good to rotate because I know that my skin gets too used to one product and then it might not really work well with me anymore so I have to change it up um, I know everybody's different, but speaking of Tula, I am obsessed with their exfoliating treatment mask. I just got it and it has some dry mask on it and I used it last night. Last night actually I snapchatted it um, because I put it on my husband too. And what's really good about this, aside from it like, you know, having Hulk face, green face, um, it smells really good. It has probiotic technology in it. Um, and it has these exfoliating beads. It's exfoliating treatment mask. So when you go to wash it off, you feel the beads and it exfoliates and takes out, you know, the dead layer um, of skin cells on your on your skin. So uh, I love this stuff. It says use two to three times a week, which I've been doing, although I would love to use it more than that. And, then, and, and this product was actually in every single one of our VIP swag bags. For Vegas mommy meetup so if you guys got a swag bag and you didn't use this yet I don't know what you're waiting for because this is valued at $49 and it's amazing um, another like skin makeup related item is my Mary Kay um, eye makeup oil free eye makeup remover and I'm almost out obviously I love it and I've had it for a couple months love it and I need a new eye makeup remover now one hair product that I do have to mention is the living proof perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfecter so if you've never tried um, living proof products I got a sample way back when uh, one of my ipsy bags and I was like wow this stuff is amazing but they are really pricey but I get you know you get what you pay for you totally do and even though this was sent to me to try it like I seriously would buy this in a heartbeat or any of their products because they not only they smell amazing they feel amazing and you know the results are really you know what you pay for and this is a nightcap so basically you put this after you wash your hair and before you sleep and you can actually um, put it on damp hair which I do or dry hair um, you only need a couple pumps you can leave it on overnight or wash it out in the morning but I leave it on overnight and it's fine um, and it's just like nice because it like softens up my hair again and it hydrates it overnight and you know my hair is you know more damaged now because I had it colored and treated 
Um, so this has become like my go-to every time after I shower. I wash my hair like every other day. And so two to three times a week is good. Although I probably use it three times a week. Um, so as far as makeup products, I don't think I mentioned this. I know I hauled it. But it's the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I got this when I went to Ulta with Minette. And we both got this. And I've been using this nonstop. Like my go-to has always been Too Faced. Um, chocolate soleil bronzer but this shade I have been using a lot because my skin is darker now that it's summer and I got tanned from Disney so that's why I feel like I'm darker than I normally am, am at this time of year because technically it's not officially summer yet and I haven't been to the beach or swimming yet um, but I have been using this dark one uh, as a contour and even sometimes on my nose depending where I'm going and with that, I'm obsessed with this Real Techniques um, Bold Metals Collection Contour Brush. This, I am in love with this brush. So I just dab on the sides and like it kind of like gives you, you're able to like make a line um, where you want to contour and then you use the flat part to kind of like blend it in or you could use another brush, whatever you feel, and then contour the sides and your forehead wonders. I've also been using the the middle um they don't have names of these colors. So that's the only downfall. Um the middle top row um for setting my under eye concealer and that works just like the Ben Nye banana powder but it's less messy and I'll just use like another brush that I have to like dab it underneath. Also another brush that's by Real Techniques and like that is my go to um, palette for contouring. I am loving the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment. Um, Christine from Twilight Chick 143 actually recommended this to me. Um, this one is the neutralizer and I've been using this to brighten under my eyes and I do really see a difference um, when I use this and then I set it. It really brightens up under my eyes, I think. so. Let me know what you guys think. I used to use um, one of the shades of this as a concealer, but I actually prefer it now as a brightener under my eye. And it's so easy to use. You just twist it and use the sponge applicator. You don't have to get messy with your fingers. Also, the Benefit High Brow um, for highlighting. After I do my brows, I put this under, I draw under my brows, and then I just kind of dab it to be my highlighter for under my brows. Loving that as well. And for lipstick, I am wearing the Lip Bar um, color in Purple Rain. And this is so smooth. It feels so buttery, first of all. Um, but the color, I love the color. I love purples and bright colors, especially for spring and summer. Um, but look at the packaging on this. It's so cute. And it actually came with like a velvet case in my BoxyCharm. And it's just so cute. And I've never heard of this brand before, but... I would love to try other colors because the formula of this lipstick is not drying and it feels good and the color power is really vibrant as you can see so I'm curious about other colors so if you guys have tried other lip bar colors let me know what colors to get. Last but not least this um, eyelash case I got from Kat IJK Fam TV from our mommy swap and I have been wanting this forever but you know I don't have a Daiso by me and I know this is this you can get a Daiso and you know you can use this to house your one two three you can put four pairs of eyelashes in here I had one and two in here but I'm wearing one now um, but yeah that's where I put my eyelashes and I use this when I went to Vegas and I'm using it now because you can use your lashes multiple times so Usually I would have just put it anywhere on the desk and then it gets dusty and it's gross and I throw it out. So that keeps it dust free and clean. And that is it for all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what are some of your current favorites or if you've tried anything that I've mentioned or any recommendations for me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.